啦啦。Hello, pips, and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Welcome back to Topless Mountain, where we are just finishing up wave twenty nine and about to start wave thirty, which will get us our third star on Topless Mountain.、Uh, I've built a second surgery,、um, just to, to you know, I was being lazy. We really needed one.、Uh, so I mean, these guys aren't very well trained at all,、uh, but you have to start somewhere. So there we are. They're doing that. Probably killing lots of patients、um, as they go. So we've got nine patients remaining on this wave.、Uh, one still hasn't been diagnosed. It's、uh, Ben Husky. That's right here.、Uh, looks like it might be some sort of fracture ward business. Lots of bandages on. There we go. Limp empathy, a phenomenon that can occur when climbing in one of the island's many fruit trees. If a branch breaks, sometimes an individual breaks one or multiple limbs out of sheer compassion for the tree. Or it might happen when they hit the ground. Medical science is yet to reach a consensus.、Uh, so anyway, off you go. But oh my goodness, look at how difficult. That's eighty percent difficulty. Oh, I'm not sure if they'll. Be able to successfully treat that. What is the success rate on that? Can't be amazing, can it? Let's see. Where is it here? Limp empathy. Cure it, hundred percent. Wow, look at that. Seventeen out of seventeen. They've, they've, well, God, they're, they're killing it in the wards, aren't they? Blimey. Uh, that's a point, actually. Where are we with、uh, training? All staff, first of all, let's just satisfy some wages. And、uh, yeah, let's have a look at the qualifications here. So now Jezebel here could do with some treatment for training.、Uh, by the looks of things,、uh, let's pay somebody to come and do that. Any more training needed? Ooh.、Um, do you know what? We will train you in maintenance. Three, I think we'll get Bert fix it in to do it, and we will add them as well to the mix. Anybody else? Anybody else? Ooh, look! We probably can't do that now. There's nobody available to train because I bought them in for something much lower down. That's a shame. Ooh, didn't look ahead. Messed it up. Messed it up. Okay. Well, that'll do me. Excellent. What is this? Cure twenty patients, and we did. Wow, we're killing it. Absolutely killing it. We、uh, need to get ready. We've got four patients remaining.、Uh, maybe we should send. Actually, they're not too bad, are they? All right. What about the、um, GPs? Ooh, that GPs、uh, seen better days. It's very tired, GP. Are you actually seeing people? You are. That looks like the last one, though. Maybe go on break now. Should we just go all staff and look at the the low energies? Mind you, I think they are busy. Oh, they're not. Maybe, maybe finally they could actually go on break. Yeah, look, they're doing it. They're taking this this golden opportunity to get the funk out of here.、Uh, who else? Can we send? What is this? Research complete. Okay, let's、Ooh. get another bunch of research going. There we go. Just keep that money coming in. Don't ever stop. Don't ever stop. How are you all feeling? Not not too bad. Here we go. So wave thirty, the final wave, is about to start. Um, oh, I built、uh, another GP's office as well, because、uh, just just to get us through、uh, wave thirty, because、um, it is taking a long time to get people through the diagnostic process. So、um, through the GP's office. So here they come, first person over here. Look. <laughs> Excellent. Here we go. The queues pile up very quickly. We are missing a receptionist here. If you're wondering what the ectovat is, you need to be checking out 
the Superbug Network. Um, it's currently in beta, um, which anybody can access uh, on Steam. They've got instructions on, on how to do that and what it's all about. But it's effectively multiplayer. Um, we we'll work together to research cures for things for superbugs. Um, hopefully it will be uh, rolled out to everybody very very soon but you can I say, as I say uh, get it right now anyone can get it right now uh, along the beta branch so many 160 patients are here they have arrived um, I think what we might do is just have a look it's not too bad is it might just have a tune up of a few bits and bobs um, probably wouldn't go amiss. Excellent. Excellent. Good. That's, that's pretty good. Oh my goodness. I quite like it though. I mean, it looks like absolute madness, but I, I do kind of like it. You know. <laughs> absolute craziness. What is this? Get a level room? No. Level 5 room? No, no, no. We won't be doing that. Not on this visit. This could be it. This could be it. I mean, getting the first star helps us complete this temple in the centre, which was great fun. But to be able to get three stars on this is exciting times. Um, an electrical storm is, is on its way. Well, here, do you know what? Some of these could probably being replenished there we go so the queues have started on the GP offices um, and of course what we want to do is keep these in a sensible order but I think we might let them build up a bit more first let's oh no look what it does to reception <laughs> oh no it's mayhem <laughs> it's absolute mayhem oh dear It's alright everybody. It's okay. Are we all okay? Is everybody alright? Let's just relax. Let's just relax. They do get a bit bored while they're queuing, don't they? It's definitely a thing. What we need is like an entertainer to walk around. Entertaining them while they're standing in queues, you know, like a theme park. Look at this! <laughs> that rare disease is in again. <laughs> it has quite a low chance of turning up, but we're getting quite a lot of patients, so it's it's working out for us quite well. Um, our Half-Life <laughs> crossover. She's great. But we've covered them before, a couple of episodes back, didn't we? Indeed, we did. In fact, I think is that another one there? It might be another one. They've got head crab, head crabbiness. They've they've got uh, they've been diagnosed with it, and they just go straight to the deluxe clinic and have it pulled off. <laughs> should we should we watch it? I like look at the way they walk. It's really nice. He's, he's pretty hot outside, air conditioning would be nice. I'm not going to air condition the outside, unless it's overgrowth. I suppose we do it there, don't we? <laughs> not really, I'm not really sure if I understand how that works. Oh, there's a ghost. Can we put that ghost in that ecto? Back thing. Okay. Are you ready? We're going to pull this thing off your head and it's going to be great. Oops. Or I'm going to pick up the machine and ruin everything. Unbelievable. Get back in there. Oh no. Oh look. They're both here. They're both going to turn up. Well I missed it. As I say, we did cover it a couple of episodes back. We should probably be looking at this now because they are going to start losing their health. Um, and we just need a very rough, very rough sorting, very rough sorting. Do you know, for many levels now, 
there hasn't been any requests for any new treatment rooms. It, se it seems like we do have them all now. Now, if that changes once you get past level 30, I, I don't know, but I've, I've uh, not seen the evidence of it. It's all been, it's all been fine. There we go. Move him down. They're in pretty good nick, aren't they? They're in pretty good nick. Let's move them down. Such such long queues at this part of the process. Which, um, it's a bit frustrating trying to organise this. You know, it, it is. There's no doubt. All of that's not great, is it? All of it. It's pretty bad. We're all pretty, pretty poorly. Uh, let's move you down. Move you up. Okay. Anybody missing? So, some treatment doctors. Where are the treatment doctors? Are there any spare kicking around? Any that could be working who aren't? Yes, you. Who did I just pick up? I don't know. What's the psychiatrist? Damn it. Damn it. That's not what I wanted at all. They, they, they moved on the screen. There we go. Oh, research is done. Let's do some more research. The plot hole. There we go. Okay, so we seem to have largely got through the reception part of this and we are now on to the GPs. That's great. And the queues on the GPs are a little bit better given that I've, I've built that extra one, which I'm really pleased about. Um, that's kind of nice. But look, we really could do with moving some of these up. Oh no. Bit of a rejig. I was like, oh look, lots of reds here. The shadow boxes, lots of them. I'll move you up. Oh, that disappeared. Uh, on its own. <laughs> Who knows why? Okay. Is there somebody with brain farts around here? Because that was unpleasant. Okay, and then one over here. The queues are definitely a little bit better just by adding that, that one GP, which is nice. My therapist still Excellent. says I need to find a hobby, so I decided to try whittling. Ever whistling. With a small <laughs> knife and a piece of yes, please, it's Wiggy, do come along. You probably won't like it. He never seems to like it, does he? He never seems to like it at all. So we're not missing any staff at the moment. Everything seems to be going okay. Uh, I think my eyes are going a bit funny though. I don't know if I'm ready to go through the queues again, but I probably should. This is quite... Um, ooh, move you down. 70%. Do you know what? We might send you for treatment. You're at 63. I'm going to send you for treatment too. Um, yeah. That'll be good. That'll be good. Right, so this GP's just gone on a break. So is there anybody that we... Oh, blimey. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to, to do this manually. We're going to pull all the GPs out momentarily. Doctor needed in GP's office. And see about charging them all up. So we can see here that this GP is charging up quite quick. I don't know where this GP is. Get them charged. They're in here. And charging really nicely. There you go. One. Uh, where are you? Attention. Go to the toilet. In the okay. Will not what about you? You're probably good now. You can go back. 
a bit problematic. Okay, you're out. Did you not wash your hands? I'm not sure they wash their hands, you know. Bit of a problem in the hospital. Uh, you can go there. Now, what are the GPs have we got? But still break you. You can go there. And you can go there. There we go. So recharged them. Now let's look at their cues again. Because look how poorly they're getting. Uh, excellent. Wow, they're all a bit ropey, aren't they? In that one. I think I might move them up. In resolution lab. Curing spree. Oh, I like it when we get the curing spree. It means we're earning more money. Yep. That's what it means. Uh, oh, you need to be moved up. Yeah. That works for us. Good. Excellent. Right. Are we missing any... Oh, right. Do we have a treatment doctor that we could pull into here? You. There you go. Any others? No. It's this pretty good. Is this is about to complete look. Shaken up by that earthquake. Excellent. Your internal organs Let's are do some cheesy. The right place. Cheesy gubbins. Right, so we've got a queue on this particular. How is it? 63%. Right, we're going to send you for treatment. We will send you. Oops. You're in the bathroom, are you? You. 63, 66. But you are just drying your hands. No, you're just coming out the cubicle. Can we rearrange these? because I want to send them away. So let's do it like that. That's one. And the other. Excellent. Okay. Good. Yeah. Do you know what? You can go in there. It's not too bad. Lovely. Yes. Splendid smashing <laughs> so the queue to GP is pretty good now um, so look we've got it's starting to build up here um, do you know what we'll get rid of the jellied fields because they are really really difficult to deal with review imminent. I'll pop you above let's view these where are we with this no, definitely done better yeah, we do need a doctor in DNA. So, oops. Oh dear. Um, let's see here. You. Get in there. Excellent. So, have we got any... Yeah, you guys can go. Otherwise, alright. Yep. Like it. Happy with it. We're doing it. We have 56 more patients. Should we have a look at them? There's still quite a lot that haven't been diagnosed. Quite a lot. Should we do it health based? Uh, you. Let's move it to the top. What about you? Okay. You? Called into the room. It's, it's very good. It's happening. It's happening. The cues are good. Uh, oh, except diagnostic nurse. Look. Get in there. Uh, I started talking about. Okay, he's unhappy with the hostel. Still, come on. I mean, our reputation is outstanding. <laughs> we we're curing people all over the place. I don't know what he wants. There must be. Maybe he likes pretty hospitals. Because to be honest, that, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Do you know what I mean? I'm not 100% sure. We're going to charge Roy up here really quite quick. That's pretty good. Let's put him back. 
was recently seen at one of his offshore hospitals. Yeah. Probably avoiding some rich guy tax, hiding cash, or <laughs> burying priceless cutlery. I see you, Silver Bottom. <laughs> I see everything. He sees everything. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, wow, so it looks like we've got through that part of the process. The GP part is done. Let's have a look. So we must be, yeah, closing in on this. So cardio. And we've got one over here. And some over here. Not too bad. So lowest health is you, but you are next. Turtle head. Got a turtle head. Come along, Jemima. Oh, it's being repaired. Machine's being repaired. Actually, it's probably a good call. So, because we've just had a bit of a shake up, haven't we? Shall we? Uh, that one's already getting a tune up. Look, they're still, still going at it. She's actually really, really tired. Uh, I'd like, before she goes on break, yeah, to get her in. Because it's the last one. Jemima's the last one in here. And then we can send you on break. There we go. Um, over here, this is your last patient. And then you can go on break. And then this is your last patient. And then you can go on break. Yeah. Fantastic. That will be them all through the diagnostic process. Then everybody will have their diagnosis. Look at that. Okay, so who's who's close to uh punching out it, you know they're all going through a thing so we've got quite a few queuing up for DNA but he is working on it he's working on it look at that it's, it's going really smoothly it's going really smoothly somehow I've got through this without failing um, any any of the waves um, and having to repeat them which is great which is what happens if if you don't uh, reach the targets and you fail the wave you don't go all the way back you do just repeat that wave so that's good you know it's so it's not as terrifying a thought I mean imagine if it if it did go if it just reset back to one oh my god that would be awful I think we'd all stop playing wouldn't we <laughs> if that happened Turtle head. It's nice to see another bleeding heart being dealt with. Seven patients remaining. Six. <laughs> Excellent. Are you a surgery? No, your DNA. Okay, you're very close. My jello poodle. Very close. Lots of upgrades. He's got. You can see all the upgrades on this machinery can't you it's quite different now one more and then I think that's everybody in the DNA room what do they want how do they get up there these Hello? are the questions are they? everyone's mind as yet again what's happening two -point so is, is there another one coming in first frogs dropping from the sky I long for the day when frog and man can coexist in peace. With somebody again. coming to repair this, there's probably somebody coming to repair this. Um, that's probably what's happening. The thing is, is that she's getting a little bit. Can we just bring her in instantly, please? No, they are absolutely healing this. Okay, healing it. Healing the helixer so that somebody can be healed in it. But. Oh no, we failed treatment down here. Oh, research is complete. There's probably not much point, but what we will do is start another one. We're going to cheese your gubbins. 
two patients left. One of them being this DNA lady. And the other one was just, just a fail. Great. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, oh no, we've got this one here. So the jet lag and Nero. One failed. Is this our worst? Yeah, this... This, oh, they did that one. Let's say this psychiatrist is not as quite as good. There we go, look. So this is our last patient. One patient remaining. And then we get our third star at Topless Mountain. There she is. Nigella Poodle. <laughs> Let's do this. Excellent, excellent. Did it work? Yay! <laughs> Here it is! Look at that, congratulations! Your hospital has been awarded a three-star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. So, you've finished developing a world-class hospital on top of a mountain. You might want to think about demonstrating your ability in a less symbolically heavy-handed manner. <laughs> <laughs> Where next? A hospital on the moon? <laughs> Please don't go to the moon. Yours fragrantly, Tarquin Foxbridge. Um, and look at this, 35,000 doubloons, uh, 200 kudosh, and we've unlocked the eight ball sign. The eight ball sign? Hey, shall we check out some of these items? Because of course, now that I know that what's been un unlocked, I would like to have a look at these. So, first of all, oh, the eight ball item. I actually don't see the eight ball. Oh, there it is. <gasps> an illustration based on an account given by a screwball patient in which they detailed a recurring nightmare. Let's <laughs> let's have a look at this. Where's um over here? Let's have a look at this. <laughs> Amazing. So we've got this here, the kiosk which I think we'll build because look it reduces hunger and thirst it increases happiness and it keeps people cool um, that's that's what I really like about this it sells ice cream and stuff and um, Attention. which I kind of like okay let's get rid of these and uh, we'll pop this here and you know what? We might look for an assistant. So I have a new hobby <gasps> now. That works here specifically. I only have three bees so, for now. Not as easy to catch as you'd think. But I'm let's take them off. To all that sweet, sweet honey. And here's a sweet, sweet melody There we go. All. It's pretty busy around here. But we'll have a look at it. Oh no, an earthquake. So, they can buy an ice cream from here and it helps cool them down because I've just put it in the most Patients, diabolical place um, should I try this here this this queue still gonna go past it so we'll have a queue down here and a queue across here <laughs> but all they do she gives them she puts a scoop on a cone and they just shove it in their jacket but it does keep them cool which is kind of cool I like it I do that's what we've got here. <gasps> Radiate summer vibes, increases hospital attractiveness. I wonder how much it, how by how much is it? Uh, oh, it's it's a big, it's a big one. <gasps> oh, it does it. It does it quite well, doesn't it? Oh, look at that. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Gone nuts. Going nuts, everybody. We're going nuts. It's quite nice. It is quite nice. Palm tree. Look, the palm tree. It's lovely. And then we have um, the singing fish, the voice of an angel, the body of a fish, <laughs> which increases uh, room prestige. I mean, uh, can't go in this room. I know it can go. Can it? Oh, I'm pretty sure it can go in. I know, but it needs. There's not enough room in there. It has to. Um, we can go in the staff room, but again, I don't have a lot of room in here. Um, Good patience, ah. use the that works. There it is. <sighs> She's dancing. 
Um, bureaucrat poster. Oh, look at it. Oh my god. That sounded like a Jasmine Odyssey song. Just saying. The flagship cartoon of Bungle Kids. So this increases also prestige as well. Oh, this is all. There it is. We heard an advert for that on the radio. I have, anyway. So it looks like he is getting an ice cream. Can we see his temperature? Temperature, comfortable. But. There. I didn't see it go down, did you? Oh, it's starting to decrease. But that could just be because they've changed the location. It's supposed to cool them down. Oh. No, yeah, but he walked right past the pineapple. I don't know. Don't know. I don't know what to make of that. Then we also have not just yet. What's this? We have the still technically carpentry question mark. Hmm. Increases comfort. So we've got the wicker chair now. A new. Can this go? It. <sighs> now, from what I understand, I think these. Does does this wicker chair give more comfort? than this one and can we put place. this yeah look i wonder which this is bound to give more comfort isn't it i might try and find out <laughs> i might try and find out i think it's worth finding out definitely uh which one gives better comfort and see if it's worth upgrading so there we are there it is we're, we're, <laughs> it's going through wave 31 at the moment uh completely unattended but there it is shall we come out of here Look at this! Oh, a superbug initiative. So for anybody um, who hasn't come across the superbug um, update, yeah, it's a free update. All can, all can get it. And like I say, at the moment it is part of the beta. And it looks like they have announced um, uh, the global, uh, the gyro nut global project. So it means we can all play together and uh, and get some exclusive in-game items like that ectovat for, for example the uh, conclusion of this groundbreaking project marks a new beginning for the superbug initiative we've generated an unprecedented amount of data and developed a range of new and exciting medical technologies utilizing the gyronaut so i took part in that uh, in that project um the gyronaut i took part in it and uh it's still in beta so we haven't got icons here but we've got, we've got the brain chair and the giggle pump a fume uh, cupboard and a giant pipette it'd be great to check those out uh yeah pretty cool huh pretty cool and then you can also start your own so i can invite my friends um to to join me and help me out uh so if you'd like me to add you as a friend if you play two point uh, quite regularly um, and you want to get into this whole superbug thing, then jump into my Discord. Uh, link is in the description below, and, uh, and we can add each other as as a friend. That could be fun. Um, so let's have a look at the career. We haven't completed any more career goals. I didn't do any marketing campaigns, but there we are. That is the Pebbly Island DLC 100% completed so we can come back to the base game because we're still working on the base game I've not got through it yet so in the next episode we will start Blighton wouldn't that be a thing another hot level we can take advantage of our kiosk cut that we've just unlocked and all that sort of business so yeah we'll be uh, we'll be starting Blighton <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, if you did please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not take your first step on the path to total coolness by supporting me via Patreon. The cooler you are, the harder I work, which means even more shizwa.